This conference will now be recorded. Hello, today we'll be talking about how to update an SSL server certificate on Citrix ADC. My name is Ralph and I'm a network engineer. And today uh, I will show you step-by-step step how to do this. If you look at the article CTX109 711 here, it'll actually take you to a e-doc. If you click on the link on how to do it step by step. And this video basically is going to show you the same process. Uh, going to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my Netscaler. First thing I'm going to do. And it's going to show you which certificate I'm going to be upgrading, so you know. Okay, beautiful. All right, so first thing we're going to do is here is going to go to traffic management, SSL, certificates, and then server certificate. And as you can see here, the server certificate that I have installed is expired, has zero days of life left. Okay, so the easiest thing here for me to do here is to update the certificate. If you rekey the certificate, if you try to replace the certificate, remember you're going to have to replace the certificate everywhere you use it on the Netscaler. So it's easier just to do a simple update, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? There's two ways you can do it. You can click on the little checkbox here and click on update, or you can click on the little three circles here and then click on update here. Okay. Once you do that, you'll see a little checkbox here that says update the certificate and key. Okay, we are just updating the certificate. So we're going to hit the check mark here. You're going to choose the file. The file we're choosing is actually on going to be on the computer. And just to show you what I did, I went to my certificate authority here. And I went to manage certificates. And I hit download. And I'm for all practical reasons, I am going to use Apache. Okay, so when you download server type here, most most um Certificate authorities give you this option as to what, which server type you want. If they don't, then that's fine. You can always convert it or they always, sometimes they'll just download everything. And then you just choose the one you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. Once you hit download, you'll be able to see download here so basically it's going to be a zip file i unzipped it and then i put it in this directory here you'll see there's different types of certificates here this is the pem certificate that's the uh, from the apache version and if you're going to use it for windows you would have the uh, crt here okay and then this is the intermediate certificate right here okay so i am going to choose the PEM file, hit open. It says you're about to update the certificate. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Okay. And at this point, I'm going to click here where it says notify when expires. The uh, default is 30 days. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can go from 10 days to 100 days as it states here. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see, 
the days expire went from 0 to 701. Okay? So I'm going to hit save. Yes. And just to show you that I didn't have to bind it or unbind it to a, to a virtual server, I'm going to go straight to my URL here. Um, bring it up. And you'll see my little lock box here. I'm going to click on it. You're going to see where it says certificate is valid. You're going to click on that. And I'm using Chrome, by the way. And if you look at the valid from, you'll see it says 8, 6 to 7, 28, 2021. Okay. So hit OK here. And as you can see, I'm done. I'm just going to hit save, and that's it. Your certificate has been updated.